So, after our first job, we're now moving on to our second job for Donna at Vulcansmithy.com. My GPU needs water cooling. Hi, I'm currently water cooling my PC to cope with temperatures here in the forge, but I'm nervous to do the GPU by myself. It seems very complicated. Could you please apply the water block I sent over to my GPU and set up the loop for me? Donna. She'll pay us 270 in labour, and we've got zero parts budget. The objectives are to water cool the GPU, and we've got a missing pipe. The lovely new feature of PC Builder Simulator 2 is rather than going having to find the PC, you can just click go to PC. So that's what we're going to do. We're here, so we need to click to work on it. Custom water cool the GPU. To begin, left click continue. So we need to remove the side case. We actually need to go in the computer this time. So left click there. And we're going to need to spin around. We're going to need to undo some screws this time by holding a left click down on the screws on the side. That's done. Side panel has slid off. We now need to remove the PCI block. And we need to unscrew that. So that's these two black screws. So a left click on those as well. Perfect. So that's that out of the way. So now we can actually remove the graphics card by left clicking on it. Oh, we need to unplug it first, of course. Unplug the two connectors. Then we can remove the graphics card. Or can we? Have we got more to unplug? If we have a zim around. Oh, we need to unscrew it, of course. It's not going to come out if we don't unscrew it. So a left click on the screws. Is it that one as well? No, it's that one. Must be that one on top. Unscrewed, it's come out. Fantastic. So change your bench, move to the workbench next to you to add a water cooling block to the GPU. So don't try and take the whole computer with you like I did on the, my first run through it with immense frustration. Go to the water cooling bench, which is here, and we just need to left click and put the GPU that we've got from the customer. So water cooling the GPU, to begin water cooling the GPU, press OK to continue. We need to left click on each screw, so I can see one screw there. And left click again on this screw. And left click again on this screw. And left click again on this screw. Is that all of them? Yep, left click to remove the heat sink. That's off. Left click on the GPU to work on it closely. Remove the thermal pads. All the old thermal pads. All good. And then we can exit. Grab some new thermal pads, thermal grizzlies, and add the new ones with a left click onto each of these areas to make sure we've got good cooling. Then exit again going to grab some cotton buds to remove this old thermal paste here so we need to hold down the left button and do as good a job as we can scrub it up dubbing all that old thermal paste off this is a very tedious job but it's not going to let you move on until you've literally got it perfect. You can see the NVIDIA logo there that we've uncovered. It's a bit left down here. This is quite tiring after a while. So we, I think we've nearly got all the thermal paste there. Off. Can we see it? Can we see any more? There's a like, tiny bit there. There we go. So residue successfully removed. Let's exit. Throw that cotton bud away. And grab the thermal paste compound. And let's squeeze some on and hold it to get some more thermal paste on. Sufficient paste been applied. Not quite in the middle, but I think close enough, hopefully. Exit. 
Now we need to select GPU. So left click on the GPU to select the water cooler block. Here's the water cooler block that we're going to apply a quantum vector. So we'll left click on that. We'll drop it down on top. Water cooling block. Fantastic. Swizzy it over. And we're going to left click on each screw to get it held in tightly. So that's one. That's two. Some of them are quite hard to see. And three there. And one. And two. And three. I think we're all done. Oh, is that one? Yeah, oh, that's one there. Don't miss that. Another one. There we go. All done. Flip it back over. And we'll left click to add the GPU to the inventory because we need to put it back in the computer. S throw that in my pocket. Nice work. The GPU has been successfully water cooled, so take it back to the PC on the other workbench to install it. Okay. So we're going to head back over here. Left click to work on this PC again. Install a water cooled GPU to begin. Left click continue. Okay, we need to click on install. We need to open water cooled GPUs, which are stored separately to your GPU blocks, and click on our new water cooled GPU. And then we need to install it back into here. So if you wait till you hover over the right area, it will pop up. That's back in. Now what? Oh. Don't forget to screw everything back in. Left click on the screw and hold. Left click on the screw and hold. Back in. So now we need to do the pipe in. So the water can come in. So we're going to click up there. On that one I think. Spin the camera around so we can see it. See it on that one? Yep. And plug it in over here we have to spin the camera around again and spin it around a bit more wow this is fiddly we've got that in number one is in then we'll get the second one in that's going to over here Wow, these are fiddly, aren't they? Get that one. And plug it in over here. Somewhere. There. Get this one. Over here. And plug it into here. This is pretty complicated um, piping. Definitely. And grab this one. And go down to the GPU, I'm guessing. Oh, we're still up here. Sometimes you have to just rotate the camera so you can see it enough what it's trying to point at to plug it in. It's that one. They could do with some highlighting on this. We're still trying to work out if we can get highlighting. There's a pipe. And this one. From there, back up to he here at the top. I think that might be all the pipes done then. Ta-da! Then we need to install. And we need to look at coolant. So let's pick the U yellow clear UV coolant. Let's go out there. Left click to fit it to the pump. Let's fill the pump, which is now filled. And it's... Pumping its way around the system. Into the GPU. Out from the GPU. All the way around. Back down here. It's quite therapeutic to watch actually. The pressure builds up. It slows down sometimes. But then it speeds back up. Into there. Fills that. Filled. 
Now where's it going? Ah, it's done. You have successfully installed the Watercool GPU. You can now finish installing the rest of the parts for this customer's PC. So we need to put the rest of it back together. So if we go to install again, we're going to need to replace the PC parts that we removed. Aha, removed components. That helps. We're going to need to put the PCI lock back on. So we're going to need to rotate the camera around again and left click and hold. Perfect. Put the screws back in. Fab. This screw. Done. Then we're going to have to install again and put the side panel back on. Left click, side panel back on and click on these two screws and watch them go in and then we should be fully rebuilt but we need to check according to our checklist that the pc can boot so to do that we're going to need to plug this one in again Ooh. so oh no we don't want to go on install this time we want to go on cables so exit, cable, which is number three, and start picking up some cables. Let's move this around so we can see where we're plugging it into. Connected the motherboard. This one is the graphics card. Oh, we can't click it through the tutorial, I don't think. Ah, we managed to. And the graphics card is going to plug in graphics cards there it's not letting us plug it into any of those which one's it going oh it's gone off cable no wonder it's not working sometimes this can be a bit finicky Do we have to pick up the cable again? Let's go on install. Is this a little bit of a bug that we found? Cable. Attach cables. Want to attach that one? Into there. Haha. Worked it out. And if we zoom out a bit using the middle mouse button, let's get the power cable in. Which goes in down there. Let's get the final. USB I think in or not do we even need it let's just press the power buttons oh everything's working will it boot that is the question we can exit the workbench water cool donna Is this even working? No idea. That doesn't look good, does it? Okay, so... What have we got wrong here? Oh, we can't see because the graphics card isn't in, of course. So, press P to power it off and then P to switch it back on. Let's see if it works this time. Please work. Why isn't it switching on? Oh, wait a sec. I know what we've done. Power it off. We need to remove this side panel. We need to remove these screws. Do you know what we've not done? <laughs> 
we've not plugged in the GPU. No wonder it's not showing anything. These cables that we removed before. Oh, no, I don't want to remove. I want a cable. Yeah, they didn't put that there in the... Uh, in the old uh, tutorial, did they? Of course, the graphics card will not work unless you plug it in. If in doubt, check that it's plugged in. I think that's all the cables we removed, so let's install the side panel again. We'll do that quickly. So we've already done this once, let's get the screws in. Screws in. And we're all plugged in, let's see if we can power it on and it works now. Ha, huh? that looks more promising. MSI. Da -dun -dun -dun. Omega system and it's booted. Fantastic. That should be everything ticked, shouldn't it? PC can boot to OS. Tick now. We've water cooled the GPU. Place in the workshop delivery area. So we're going to right click. Oh no. Need to exit workbench mode first. Right click. Powered off and unplugged. And head back to the delivery area. Let's do this. So we're going to head back to the delivery area. Oh, Geo Bin's been to pick up the PC, which is really good. And left click once to put it down. So water cool for Donna is done. It's in the area. Let's go back to our email, see if we can collect our check. So we click on here. Here's Donna's email, $270, objectives, water cool GPU, it's done. So we're on 105 at the moment, we collect. Woohoo! Donna at Vulcansmithy.com. My GPU needs water cool, we've water cooled it. PC can boot to the OS, labor, $270, parts budget zero, total $270, but a profit of only $170. How does that work? We've charged them $270 for labor. But somehow, we've not spent anything on parts, but somehow we've only profited 170 But we've definitely gone up $270 in our overall balance, so we're happy. Um, but overall, that is definitely a bug. Nope, developers, you need to put 270 there. But that is our second job completed with water cool the GPU on PC Builder Simulator. Okay, so that is fab. Another job successfully complete. Don't forget to like the video and hit subscribe for more PC Builder Simulator 2 videos. See you later.